To film the Per Sane fishing sequence, the South Pacific team decided they would need to put a cameraman inside the fishing net. Few divers have ever attempted this before, and it proved to be a real challenge. To be in the right spot at the right time, the film crew have to take up residence on a Per Sane vessel. This 60-meter Papua New Guinea vessel can hold 800 tons of fish. For the 30-strong all-male crew, this boat is home. They spend 330 days of the year at sea and can go two years without seeing their families. Their lives are a never-ending quest for fish. They're in port for three days, which gives the film crew a chance to jump on board. Here we are. <laughs> it's a vast ocean, and even the fishermen don't know where the fish are, so they set a course for the location of their last big catch. The film crew have arranged for a dive boat to meet them there. Without the support of a professional dive boat, it would be dangerous to get in the water and film. Just hours after leaving, reports come in of big tuna catches up north, and the captain sets a new course. 8.28 in the morning, and we've already discovered fish. Right out there, about 150 meters, the sea is frothing and boiling, and that's obviously where the tuna are. So the ship is doing a circle around it, and that's where they're going to set the nets. It's all on, it's all on. Although it's a relief to begin filming, the real challenge is still to come. They need to get inside the net, and right now that's not a very inviting prospect. But first they need their dive boat to find them in this vast expanse. I can see our dive boat on the horizon, she's a little speck in the distance. Here again, ship transfer. There you go. That's our new home. See you tomorrow. At five in the morning, the fishermen are already setting the nets. It's time to take the plunge. It may seem a little strange while we're putting fishing net on our scuba gear, but it actually has a very useful purpose. These jagged edges of the gear are completely covered with this fish net to prevent us from getting snagged and caught like fish. You know what, I don't normally wear a knife this big, but um, in this kind of situation, with, uh, with all the nets around and, and possibility for entanglement, it's actually a really good idea. This is a shark shield, and with a tuna fishing boat, thousands of bloody tuna in the water, and a sea full of sharks, can come in very handy. They enter the net. Despite having done all they can to prepare, this is a jump into the unknown. The scale of the net is breathtaking. They're relieved to find that there are no sharks this time but there are also no fish. Frustratingly, days pass, and the fishermen fail to find any more fish. We're getting down to the wire here. We've got two days left, and we still haven't seen any fish, so I'm getting a little nervous. Yeah, it would be tragic to, to be out here and, and not have the opportunity to film this. Eventually, they locate a school. The question is, are there any fish in that net? This is the team's last chance to get the sequence. <laughs> to their great relief, all their effort has finally paid off. They share the net with 150 tons of tuna. 
one of the biggest catches of the year. It's an intense experience. Once again, there are no sharks. But as the net tightens, the space inside gets ever smaller. The fish begin to panic. Eventually, the crew have to bail out. They continue to film from outside the net. The filming has been a success, but seeing death on this scale has quite an impact on the team. Find words to describe that. First, he got in, it was just empty. You know, there's just that serene silence. And you turn around, and all of a sudden, this is the whole space is filled with fish. Just frenetic, fast moving fish just going crazy. From then on, in, it was just absolutely intense. And you don't know which is up or down or side, it's just your whole frame of reference goes off. And finally, then, the net. It was the one static point, wasn't it? Yeah, the start of the dive, you feel like the net is something to really keep away from, but by the end of the dive, the net is the only thing that you can use as a frame of reference, yeah. and everything else is just moving, and it's very disorientating. And there were other surprises. And the slick of blood that comes from this is just like pouring out of the net in this massive slick. And you would have thought in this ocean it would have attracted hundreds of sharks. I didn't see a single one, not one shark. It's a worrying sign that all is not well in the South Pacific. So, what are the fish? What we saw today was, was a highly unique experience. And I think it does make you wonder uh, what our impact on the oceans are when you see it firsthand like that. The team were lucky. With so many vessels now fishing throughout the Pacific, it may not be possible to film scenes like these for very much longer. <laughs> 